introducing yourself, talking about yourself, starting a conversation. Do you have problems doing that? Do you want to know ways to do that? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Let's go. Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here from Sweet Academy, helping you get your English to the next level. And we're at the start of a new school year. And I thought that I'd share the lessons that I give there, some of them with you, so we could all kind of learn together. So I'm going to take you through the school year. I'm going to take you through the material I teach, the activities I do, and kind of the lessons that we all can learn from these activities. And we can all grow together, learn together, and I encourage you to share your examples or share your language down below in the comments. That will help, well, that'll help me with the YouTube gods. and. It will also help you in practicing your English. But let's get into the lesson today. We're talking about introducing yourselves, right? The first lesson, introducing yourselves. Sometimes it's difficult. What do you talk about? How can you talk about it? What do you do? Well, the important thing to know is you don't really need that high of a level of English to talk about yourself effectively, right? You can start a conversation, have a beginning conversation, and really have these things in your mind because it's probably the thing you're gonna be repeating the most in another language. Maybe, depending on what you do. I know that in Korean, who I am, where, I've, where I lived, uh, how old I am, these are all things that were very common, came up all the time, and, and I still remember them. I'll never forget them. So maybe you'll get that way with your English. So let's check it out, some of the topics and ideas for you to think about and practice. So day number one, you generally talk about yourself, right? And this is a great opportunity to, well, be honest and I think many of the times we waste this opportunity by doing the classroom exercise. But as I said in my intro, you can really use this to make this English become a part of you and make this seem and sound natural to you and then grow to other topics and other topics and other topics. And let me give you some topics that you could talk about or you could think about when introducing yourself. The first is your name. I mean, obviously, this, that's all, right? Uh, my name is Jesse, period. Age, this is kind of also cultural because in Asian countries, like in Korea, they do usually ask or or give their age first because it kind of depends on how they communicate with each other. So, how old are you? That's the question you could ask. How old are you? Or sometimes if you want to be careful because for some Westerners, the age can be sensitive. I don't know why. Embrace who you are. Be proud of who you are, the age and all, your weight and all. But we're sensitive. So you could say, if you want to be careful, I would actually change it into a passive voice. Instead of how old are you? Say, excuse me. You could add excuse me. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? Do you mind if I ask how old you are? Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? That's a really passive way to ask this question and it's less of it's safer right but if you say how old you are be careful make sure it's correct i am 39 years old i am 25 years old he is 15 years old she is 19 years old remember especially for you spanish speakers we don't use have for age we use to be, am, am, 
I am. Next, ask about their job. Talk about your job. I am a whatever. I am a teacher. I am a student. I am a doctor. I am a plumber. I am a carpenter. You could also say, I work as a blah, blah, blah. Next, you could talk about your family. I'm married. I have one kid, one child, two children, three children. My daughter is seven years old. My son is 15 years old. They go to school at blah, blah, blah. Things like that. Talk about your family. Also, with your family, you might want to include your pets. I have a dog. I have a cat. I have a black lab. I have a poodle. I have a labradoodle. Whatever. Whatever you want to talk about. You could talk about where you live. I live in, and then say your city, say your town. I live on Chester Street. Talk about the street if you want, depending on how specific you want to go. Hobbies. What do you like to do in your free time, right? In my free time, I like to go swimming. I like to go swimming in my free time. I like to practice yoga. I used to do jujitsu in my free time, but I haven't lately. Lately, that's a good word. I haven't recently or lately. And finally, any of your likes and dislikes. Generally try to focus on your likes. I like hip hop. I like rock and roll. I love music. I love all kinds of music. I love all kinds of food. I like pizza. I don't like pasta. I like hamburgers. I don't like chocolate for some reason, <laughs> right? So these are just some typical things, some standard things that you can talk about on a first conversation. And again, learn how to say these. Go down this list and say what you would say in a real conversation in English. And actually you can write it below and I can check it for you. But these will really help your fluency because you're going to practice these, especially if you're living in a foreign country or you want to live or study in a foreign country. These come up all the time. Trust me, I've been living in a foreign country for 13 years. These come up all the time. If you like this lesson even a little bit, then click that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time, every week when I upload a new lesson. Also visit SweetAcademy.com for extra resources, blogs, and my podcast, The More Than English Podcast. There's also a useful video right below me. You can check that out for another lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.